We've all heard that newspapers are dead, the printed product no longer relevant in our digital age. Not so fast, says the owner and publisher of a new newspaper that aims to cover Brisbane, Colma, Daly City, South San Francisco, San Bruno, and Millbrae. Welcome to Peninsula Newsmakers, I'm Marshall Wilson. Joining me now is Victoria Monroe, the owner and founder of the Peninsula Progress. Victoria, thanks for being on the show. Well, thanks for having me, Marshall. And why launch a newspaper in this digital age when so many of us are getting our news off our smartphones and tablets? Well, it's because local news isn't on the internet so much. It's, um, you can find all kinds of news on the internet, the world, the, you know, the national, the state, not so much um, the news of City Hall, not so much school board news, not so much local institutions in a neighborhood. And why focus on the North County? Well, there's been sort of a void in the North County as far as um, coverage by the, the by the big dailies. Um, all these little towns in the North County used to have their own um, weekly paper or a twice weekly. All those have been gone now for a dozen years. Um, and the, the big dailies aren't really filling the void there. And how about advertising? Now, we all know that newspapers are supported by advertising, especially a free newspaper. Mm -hmm. So how do you go about making your paper relevant to readers and to advertisers? So what is your sort of grand strategy here for the progress? Well, I want to just cover local news. Um, I don't have any state or national or world news in this. It's just all local news. It's the school board, it's the city hall, it's the local um, baseball teams, it's um, profiles of local characters and local businesses. When I saw in one of your recent editions here, we have an interview with Mayor Jim Ruane of San Bruno. Mm -hmm. Is that one of your aims to go out to the kind of the people who are in the news? Of course, Jim Ruane has been making national headlines due to the pipeline explosion. He's been back in Washington, D.C. I wrote through your article. It's more an, an article about him rather than big issues. Right. Um, we did a mayor series, and we're going to do another one soon because we have new mayors now. Um, so yeah, these are, these are personal interviews. This is get to know your mayor. And how many reporters do you have, or what is your, your staffing model? Do you rely mainly on freelancers? Do you have a core group of reporters that you rely upon? I have um, three freelancers. Um, one covers arts and um, uh, features, and one covers news. Um, another covers uh, sports. Um, and then there's one more <laughs> for news. And are your reporters there at the city council's meetings, at the school board meetings? How are, how are you going about getting that, that news that hasn't been covered necessarily in North County? How are you going about it getting it in your newspaper? Well, I, I go to the city hall or I get those reports sent to me, the, um, the um, minutes, mm -hmm. and I do a synopsis of those. Or um, I go or I go to the, you know, the school board meeting or what have you. And that's often where you find out the news, right, is by actually being there. I think in this day and age, I know there's a lot of bloggers, and I have to say that my own background is actually in print journalism in North County. Many years ago, I actually worked for some of those weeklies that, that no longer exist, the Daily City Record, the South San Francisco Enterprise Journal. I know you get your news from actually being at those meetings and meeting those people. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I just go there, and, um, and I listen, and I... Just take notes. How are you going and letting those those newsmakers, those mayors, those city council members, those school board members, how are you getting out there and making sure that they know that you are an avenue to help get what's going on in the city out to their residents, out to their community? How can you, that you are there to help amplify their message and, and cover them, I'm sure, as a journalist? Mm -hmm. um, I, I rely on email a lot and the phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't be everywhere. <laughs> Um, and I do rely on the minutes that are sent to me by the city clerks. I rely on those very heavily. And what are some of the local advertisers? Of course, we touched on a little bit earlier, a newspaper has to rely on advertisers. And I think you know, your local businesses and your downtowns aren't going to be advertising you know, on, on uh, you know, national publications or big Bay Area wide. How do you go out? Do you have a sales team that goes out and talks to some of those local businesses about the value of advertising in a local paper? Mm -hmm. I have one salesperson. Um, and the, the local advertisers, um, 
really in the North County, they don't really have an, an advertising outlet and you know, until my paper, <laughs> because the big dailies are very expensive for a mom and pop, and the internet is kind of expensive and not really effective because those ads, those internet ads are constantly rolling. You know, they're rolling through a whole bunch of ads in the same space, and every time you refresh the page, you get another ad but there's hundreds of them rolling through that one space. So, I mean, I've, I've had advertisers tell me that when they have advertised on the internet, they can go on and just never see their ad and they don't know that it's running. <laughs> and here you have visual proof, here it is. <laughs> right. And tell us, where can people find your newspaper? You don't do home delivery, but it's available where? Um, actually, I. I do mail it to people um, for $16 a year. I'll just mail it to their, their address. But um, it's, it's a free paper that's found at the city halls and the libraries, several restaurants. Um, all the Starbucks have it in the North County, the Pete's Coffee, um, several mom and pop um, coffee places have it. Well, and tell us a little bit about your background. Is your background in journalism? Is it in publishing? Is it in sales? Who, who is Victoria Monroe behind this newspaper? Um, my degree program was in advertising, and I have a, a minor in graphic design. So I gather all this stuff. I write some. I, I mostly gather from my, um, my stringers and put it all together, and I design the pages. I edit. I proofread. I edit the photos. Kind of a one-woman shop. Kind of. <laughs> Do you accept submissions from people out there in the community about community news? What are, what are you looking for? I do. Um, in fact, um, uh, one of the senators has um, given me a monthly column. Mr. Mark Leno is, all, is covering, um, he's the senator now for the um, part of the North County, Daly City, and part of South City, Colma. Um, so he's giving me a monthly column. Um, Phil Ting is mm -hmm. giving me a monthly column. Um, Interested Lynn, a little more San Mateo County folks giving you a monthly column? Is there an avenue here to get the word out there? <laughs> I've approached a few, but not yet. I don't yet have a column. But um, I have Lynn Tillum, the radio lawyer. He's giving me a weekly column. Oh, pretty good. Well, we've got to start soon. <laughs> we just got about 20 or so seconds left. So tell me your vision for the paper. In five years, where are you going to be? Well, I hope to have grown. I hope to have more male subscribers. I hope to be at a 10,000 circulation. I'm right now at 5,000. Um, 5,000 is starting to not be enough. Right. I ran out last week. Well, that's good. That's good news. <laughs> so that's all the time we have. So Victoria Monroe, thank you very much for joining us on Peninsula Newsmakers, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, Marshall. Thank you.